and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Um, now some of you may know that I'm a massive Japanophile. Uh, Japan, the country that gave us robotics and the country that gave us Japanese cruel Japanese game shows and the country that has given us amazing food and incredible beer. Oh, I love the beer there. This is a shot from when I last went in 2012. Uh, the country that does KFC for Christmas. Look into it, Google it. And also has given us Girls und Panzer models, and also has given us gigantic Gundam mechas. I'm going to be visiting Japan in about a week's time. So we are flying from Australia, uh, heading 12 hours, I think it is, north to Japan in about a week's time, and we'll be landing in Tokyo. And I'm really excited. So we've got one night in Tokyo, and then we head down to Shizuoka. Um, so you may not have heard of Shizuoka, but it's the big epicenter for modeling in Japan. It's where Tamiya is headquartered, and you probably already know, I'm a massive Tamiya fanboy. Um, they have this incredible space there, showcasing all their models and their history. I can't wait to visit it. And the Shizuoka Hobby Center, which are the Hobby Square, which is just massive. Everyone who's anyone in the Japanese hobby industry has a presence in the Shizuoka Hobby Center. So I'm spending a couple of days there. I cannot wait. After that, we're off to Kyoto. Uh, I don't know much about Kyoto. I've never been there before. Um, I'm assuming there's some kind of modeling presence there. I'm sure there will be. After that, we're heading to Nagano, and it's going to be winter. It's going to be late December. Um, it's going to be freezing cold, and I can't wait to see the snow monkeys, the Japanese macaques that sit in their hot thermal pools. It's going to be cool. After that, we head back to Tokyo. So I'm going to be doing a lot of sort of museums and shrines. So I'm going to be visiting the uh, the Yasukuni Shrine and Museum, and also the Mikasa Dreadnought, the pre-Dreadnought. That's the only one left in the world, the only pre-Dreadnought battleship. And um, also just checking out every single hobby shop that I can get to. So Akihabara is an amazing area to go to. I'm going to be staying right near the Tamiya Plan Model factory, which I can't wait for. And um, yeah, there's a couple that I haven't been to before that I'm really excited about seeing. But basically, what I wanted to ask you guys is, is there anything that you'd like me to check out? Or is there anything you can recommend for a modeler's trip to Japan. So this is a bit of a pilgrimage for me. I'm really excited about seeing as much of the modeling industry as I can. And I'll try and get reports out to you guys if stroke when I can. I really just don't know how possible that will be over the next three weeks. Um, but yeah, do you have any recommendations? Of you know, any of you been to Japan and you say, oh, you have to check this out from a modeling perspective? Or indeed, is there anywhere that you'd like me to visit so that I can do a report once I'm back home in Australia? Um, please, you know, chime in below or visit my website and let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, look, if this channel is a little bit quiet over the next couple of weeks, that'll be why. I'll be travelling. It's a family holiday as well. It's not just me going by myself and model nerding out. Um, I'll be heading there with my family. And, you know, we'll be doing all kinds of fun stuff as well, like check it out, monkeys in snow. Um, but yeah, if you've got anything you'd like me to cover off, do please let me know, guys. Um, and if I don't speak to you before then, have an amazing holiday season and a great Christmas. And uh, I'll see you guys in 2018. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye.